front. Camera rolling. And go. Oh my god, there's some traffic going by. Another. <laughs> I've just been like, this, there is a lot of traffic noise, guys. Sorry. Rolling. Sitting down so that our reflection in the mirror doesn't. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's coming. Rolling. <laughs> My routine has been, it's been erratic actually. There are days that I get up really late, there are days that I get up really early. When I get up early, I'm able to do yoga, Zoom class calls with my amazing, amazing yoga teacher. This is the first time I've been able to look at my food a bit more closely and see how can I make healthier choices in life. Yeah. One amazing thing that happened during this lockdown is that nature took over again. I think I haven't seen blue skies like this in Delhi for the last 15-20 years. There's been a lot of part of me which has been very truthful to my art. I tend to always challenge things like what is a sari or what is a lehenga or what is a gown or what is a shirt or what is any item of clothing or what is traditional or what is futuristic. So I tend to challenge notions around meanings of words and meanings of perceptions. I try to stay truthful to that philosophy as much as I can. So in that sense, I do look up to Gandhiji's philosophy of being truthful to yourself. When I was asked to participate at Sankati, it was a very emotional experience for me. Gandhi stands for truth and perseverance and belief and I think his belief was so strong that he just became one with his belief, he became one with his purpose, his purpose became infinite and the way I uh, try to depict that is through an art installation which I did called the Tunnel of Infinity. It had two mirrors floating, one on the top and one at the bottom looking into each other with Gandhiji's heartbeat, his actual heartbeat, which is the perfect recorded heartbeat till that date, going in a circle, and an infinity symbol made in the middle with Khadi, the fabric that uh, Gandhiji was promoting so much as the Swadeshi movement. That infinity symbol, when you looked into the mirror, down or up, would multiply into infinity. So it became a tunnel of infinity, reflecting the fact that his belief and his purpose itself was so infinite that it still holds true and it will always hold, hold true. My brand is always perceived as very avant-garde, very futuristic, but a lot of people don't realize that we use lots of different traditional Indian embroidery techniques and materials, but just the way they are used it doesn't look like Zardozi or Chicken Gari. It's kind of uh, destructive in that sense. That's what makes it so new. I think we've just come up with so many techniques which have become indigenous to our brand that my staff, they're able to twist things and make things and you know, you tend to question like, how is this embroidery done? Or how is the shape made? Because we've just not followed any rules. And I don't usually follow rules of pattern making Draping anyways does not have any rules or, you know, I just don't like rules. I plan to design the mask with this beautiful hand-spun, hand-woven cotton, which is um, very environmentally friendly. Uh, the way this is constructed uh, is like we have these stitch lines uh, towards the end of the fabric so that the threads fray out and that's what I plan to use with the mask where the, the fraying is towards the outside so it doesn't hinder in breathing and it kind of gives it a more of a, a grungy kind of a feeling. I have been very inspired by the Patachitra paintings from Odisha. 
it's extremely fine workmanship. And I particularly love the black and whiteness, the stark graphic quality that comes out of this thing, which makes it kind of tribal, cool, contemporary. We ended up exploring a few elements from the paintings, and then we finally came up with this design, which is almost like a psychedelic graphic inspiration from the Patichitra. And it has these two ladies sitting, and it has hope and love written in capitals, making it almost graffiti-like. There's going to be a special feature in the mask that I designed, which is there's going to be a small hidden pocket towards the inside of the mask on a side where you can put a very, very tiny spot of raw camphor, which is also called Desi Kapoor, which helps respiratory system and breathing better and also purifies the environment. So this is how the mask would look. Isn't it cool? I think it's like real cool. I love it. This is the mask I would like to wear. I think masks have been around for a while now. I in fact started with a few people this anti-pollution riot campaign. And these masks were symbolic and are symbolic to the pollution levels which are crazy in the world right now. It's now become even doubly important with the virus and future such viruses coming along. I think it kind of was waiting to become an everyday reality and we were going towards this mask revolution. I don't find many masks or any mask comfortable at all and it's not very natural for us to wear it. But as we wear it, there is a distance and a shield that happens between us and the rest of the world. And I think that is activating certain neurons in our brain of unmasking those layers that we have built over years and decades of how we want people to perceive us and that mask that we socially wear all the time. I think the act of wearing the mask makes us question the society mask. If this is a laptop or an iPad, would it be possible to kind of take us to that space? You want me to come there? Maybe, because you'll sit there. If this chair was instead facing towards the right. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, shift it to the left. Shift it to the left. We're ready? Yeah.